What's up, Self Talk family? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Self Talk Experience podcast all of 2022. And we're looking forward to an incredible upcoming 2023. But before we move on, here are some of our favorite memories from this year. And as always, remember, talk good to yourself. Right? Yeah. And that's the whole point of connecting the dots. Yeah. All the dots connected to make sense. And the thing, the crazy thing is when we're talking about this, usually when you do the connect the dots, Mm -hmm. the game or the puzzle, you finish and you have a picture. Yeah. But in our lives, we are on a journey and our picture is still always moving, right? It's always changing. And you're, you're kind of like, oh, I think it's going to be a heart. Right. No, now it's kind of looking like a star. That's so good. Now it's not looking too it's good. <laughs> well, That's so true. So you never really know yeah. what, your, what is your picture yeah, really supposed so to true. look like because it's ever changing. Right. Be- and the picture that you want may not be the picture you're going to get because you deserve better. Ooh. Say that again. The picture that you want that you think is what you want is not really what's best for you because there's better for you. Mm. Remember I said that um, consistency is about a promise? Yes. Right? It spells dependability. Mm -hmm. And so... That's good. If we have benchmarks that we've set, it gives an opportunity to say, where are we? Right? Because you you can measure it. Mm -hmm. Right? And so you say, oh my gosh, we've already done this. Yeah, but if if, if, if it's too far out, People become inconsistent because they cannot see that it's leading to this end goal. Right. Right. So if it is 90 days, then maybe every 30 days there's a check in. Maybe it's every week. But there has to be some check ins before the end goal. Right. So because one, when you're looking to become consistent at something, you won't be perfect in the act of even being consistent. So people are looking for results in their consistency too early. So what happens is that if I'm being consistent and I feel like it's not working, then I become inconsistent because I feel like it's not worth it to be consistent. So I break the promise to myself. And when I break the promise to myself, as I mentioned earlier, it's hard to ever be consistent again in that same thing because I've I've already told myself I I can't trust me. Consistency is a pathway to trust. hmm. I know who I am. Mm hmm. I know what I stand for. You talked about this, Mm -hmm. right? I know my core values. So when anyone second guesses that, when anyone says anything, they immediately think, well, can't be talking about me because I'm a queen. I'm a king. I'm this, right? You know who you are. And when you know who you are, you, you, I'm not waiting for you to say something so that I now can accept me. I'm not waiting for you to say something. So I now validate me. I don't need you to call me pretty, handsome. I don't need you to call me wealthy. I don't need, right? I know who I am. And so now nothing you say allows me to take it personally because I already know exactly who I am, where I'm headed, and where and who I'm called to be. I know my purpose. I know my passion. I'm in all the way. I'm 100% in. I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. And my circumstances doesn't even dictate who I am. You think you know who I am based on my circumstances because I don't have a car right now, because I can't pay my bills right now. Right. You think that's who I am. I already know who I am, who I am. You haven't seen yet. So nothing you say to me can stop me from seeing who I'm going to be, because who I see I'm going to be is already pulling me in that direction. Wow. And this is so crazy because I am sitting here. A part of the podcast, but you're helping me so much Mm. right now that I can't even. I'm sorry. This, I feel like this is for me. Mm. Like maybe the camera shouldn't even be on. Wow. Because you really just took me. It was almost a dot. I mean, we just had the mm-hmm. episode about connecting the dots. Yeah. I feel like this moment, I don't yeah. know, just, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad we, we chose to, this topic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's good. I'm glad we chose <clears> this topic. Right. But you know, it's funny. We always, when we're doing great and everything is on a high, we always say we're in our winning season, but are we always in our winning season? Because you just said it, whether we're failing or learning, we're Mm -hmm. still winning. So we should always have the self-talk of I'm in my winning season, even if it's not exactly Mm -hmm. going as planned or where we want it to be at that time. 
a lot of times we see tension as a bad thing. You know, if a conversation causes tension, avoid it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If moving in a certain direction as it pertains to pursuing our own goals, ambitions or dreams, if there's tension that we encounter along the way up, oh, skip over that. But what does it look like to see tension as an invitation for further exploration? Mm -hmm. right. Then maybe the tension is there because there's something trapped that needs to be released mm -hmm. and needs to be let go. Right. And a lot of times so we don't get to see what's trapped beneath because we're so fearful of going further into it. But man, when you're pursuing your dreams and when you're pursuing um, healthy relationship, when you're pursuing your goals, at some point you're going to be faced with some level of tension. Mm -hmm. You're going to get opposition. You're going to get pushback. Sometimes it's external, but a lot of times it's internal. And we've got to be willing to press through that and to explore that because oftentimes that's where the true gems really are. Comparison kills. And what I was... Um, the 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 exact quote that I was writing down was, man, you know, sometimes the grass is green on the other side because it's turf. Yeah. 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 And it's not until you leave where you are to go over and explore something that you thought was better mm -hmm. that you realize, man, it ain't growing. Yeah. It's not even alive. <laughs> it's turf. Right. It's always going to be at this same level. Right. It's always going to be at this height. Right. And you left a situation that had the potential to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though it would have been hard work, you would have had to water it, yeah. till it, do all yeah. of that stuff, but it had the potential to grow. And because you were so busy comparing. So like, I'm always encouraging couples when you're working on your relationship, that was the point in the book that I, that I was writing yesterday. When you're working on your relationship, get off of places that invite you to constantly compare. Mm -hmm. That's not the time to be scrolling up and down and see what's going on on the gram. Mm -hmm. That's not the time to be looking at when the feed. On no, absolutely not. Because what people are doing is giving you a snapshot and you're comparing your life to a snapshot. Mm -hmm. right. It's been edited. Mm -hmm. It's been photoshopped. Mm -hmm. It's been cropped. They don't even look like that. They, I mean, you can't even see all the contraptions they got on underneath <laughs> of their clothes. I'm saying in addition to that, they don't even look like that. Right. And you're comparing yourself to something that's not real. Right. Comparison kills. It kills joy. It kills energy. And most importantly, it kills an appreciation for what you have in yeah. the here and now. Yeah. And so you've got to, to your point, Darnell, you've got to divorce yourself from comparison oftentimes when you really want to grow. Sometimes you just got to hunker down yeah. and get focused yeah. and do what you need to do to get yourself to a certain place and celebrate that. You see, so for me, I, I never had a switch to say, oh, this is a light bulb moment. Mm. It was never that. It was always move. Mm move if you're not growing you're dying mm -hmm. that's all i know just keep going yeah. you just keep on going right mm -hmm. and so um i get asked that question a lot of like man how did you like how did you get that switch on i'm like y'all the switch just never went out mm -hmm. it just stays on you know um and what happens i think is when you have too many options you turn it on and off yeah. but for me i don't give myself options so when i wanted to be the first black woman in louisiana to develop a mixed-use community it's yes and it's yes I don't have a no, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And when they tell me I can't be in the room, I say, oh yes, I can be in this room. And when they say you can't sit at this table, I say, yes, I'm gonna sit at your table and I'm gonna build a table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So for me, be, I, and I think that's a gift that I have from God because I was, I was, I went through so much turmoil as a kid that it made me as strong as I am now. Yeah. So it's really hard for somebody to break me because you can't break me physically. You can't break me mentally. You can't break me verbally, right? You literally have to pick up something and knock your girl out to lay, lay me out. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because if it's in my <laughs> face, I'm going to move it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? If it's in my way, I'm going to move it. Anything in my direction, it has to be moved because it's yes or yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and so for me, that's how I live my life. And that's how um, I've accumulated the amount of success that I have is because I don't create options. I don't turn that light switch on and off. It has to stay on. You just need that one person, that one person to make you believe it can happen. And you were that person for me. You painted a picture. I like the picture. I said, I'm here for the picture. So whatever I have to do so we can be in this picture together, I'm going to do it. Mm. It was you. So you don't need 10 people supporting you and doing all these things for you. All you need is one person, mm. one person who you know you can trust and you'll follow them all the way. And it was you for me. You told me that I was going to have a house no one I knew had, a car that I would have a car no one knew. I would go places. I've been places that I didn't even know existed because of believing in what you told me. That, it, was, it was all you. 
And to add to that, my my love language is physical touch and quality time. Those have nothing to do with money or where I live or where I stay or where I go. Mm. So you always have given me physical touch and quality time. That's all I've ever needed. That's all I still need. Even if everything stopped mm. and everything shut down, as long as I have you and that, I'm I'm always going to be good. That's that's my answer. Wow. Wow. Thank you. You just need one person. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. And also, it doesn't have to be someone that you know or that you've known, right? Mm. It could be someone in a podcast, someone that you listen to or someone you see on television. It doesn't have to be always until you find the person who can be personable. Yeah. Right? Because a lot of people are like, well, I don't have anybody like that in my life. Nobody like that in my house. That's okay. Right. You may not know them right now. Right? So if you just have that one person that believes in you, you can go so far. Yeah. And some people, see, it could be their kid. Yeah. A little kid. Like, mom, you can do that. You think so? Yeah, you can. Mom, you're beautiful. Dad, you're great. You're strong. You can do that. Yeah. It could be, it could be anyone. You just need one. Yeah. I know, I know how to drive. Mm. So why would I sit comfortably in the back seat That's and it. let somebody else steer all the decisions of my life going this way and that way? Mm. I, I know which way I want to go, mm. but I'm going to sit back here mm -hmm. and I'm going to let somebody else take me where they want me to go that's going to benefit them. Wow. So sometimes change is not taking you in a different direction. It's just switching lanes. Mm. And so you probably have heard it said this way. Um, God's delays is not his denials. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing. So mm -hmm. because you were delayed didn't mean you were denied. It means that you were supposed to avoid something like it was divinely orchestrated. Right. Right. So that's the way I look at change because it really helps me when, because change happens all the time. It's especially again in my space, it happens all the time. It happened today several times. I'm like, Oh, I didn't know this was going to take as long because it, it wasn't supposed to. It almost happens daily for you, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and not just for me, but with other people. So yeah. I'm constantly helping people navigate and move through change. It allows me to almost embrace change because I see people win at, a, at another level because of change. Right. So I look at change as positive because I see so many people winning. And in a way that they never thought they could win. And they're like, oh my God, this is my life now. I'm like, I know, but it all happened because of change. It all happened, happened because they embraced it and they were willing and they started to look forward to change. Mm -hmm. Like what's the next change? It, it, it showed me I wasn't the only one. And again, it's helpful. At least it was helpful for me when I realized, man, there's a lot of us who are unstoppable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, so I think having the support is and key getting around the right getting people. around your associations being around some other unstoppable people i can't even imagine where you'll be a year from now yeah if you find some other unstoppable people say look we're going to read this book together uh we're going to um present our product our services this many times a day we're going to market mm -hmm. this and everyone is doing their own thing but they're all held holding each other accountable because they're unstoppable right yeah but no but yeah. no but seriously me versus me is so key if you really really internalize it and think about it because you put your blinders on and you're so focused on what you have going on and what you can do for you mm -hmm. it extends out and it eventually touches everybody else yeah. but you have to get you together first and once you and talk about being happy yeah. and me versus me you have to know that you're unstoppable because you'll believe it yeah you'll believe it yeah so right? that should be a part of your affirmations and your self-talk. Like, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. Yeah. And it's me versus me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's key. Right? So commitment involves action. Yeah. Once you take the action, whether it's getting Mary at the altar, whether it's going to the gym, whether, right, you, you, you made the vow, right, you, you actually did the thing. Now the next piece is endurance. We talked about this. It's like, are you going to do the thing you said you were going to do continuously? Yes. Are you going to work on it? Yes. And the more, here's a wonderful thing about commitment that I found. The more you work on it, the more things are revealed to you on how you can get better at the thing you're working on. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's go back to Zumba for you. Right. You first started Zumba. I remember watching you do Zumba. I was like, oh, she's so good. And you were giving, what do they call it, cues or something when you're telling yes. people like two more, three more, those things. 
<laughs> so, and you were really good at it. And then months later, I'm like, you were not the same person. But if you did not consistently, if you didn't have the endurance, if you did it for one month, stopped, right. started again, start, stop, yeah. start. This is what most people do. Mm -hmm. Stop, start, stop, start. And so it's almost like it's new again when you start again. Because you got to go through the same things of expanding your comfort zone, getting comfortable again, right? right? Getting back in the groove. Exactly yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So this that's what I mean by endurance. It's like, how, how long can you do this thing you said you were going to do, even when you don't feel like you feel like doing it? Don't change who you are, right? Even if someone else is not responsive to your compliments, not responsive to you being nice, not responsive to, or not, you're not getting the response you think you should get, then you, you're doing it because it's who you are. You're not doing it because of who they are. And what's so funny is that sometimes people feel like because they've changed, everybody around them is going to change. And that's right. just not true. Well, you always say fill your way to success. This is exactly right. Right. So what had the, the problem with that, because I'm making it sound easier than it is, and I promise I am. Because the problem with that is when you failed over and over and over and over again, think of this as a path, mm -hmm. a road. And you're and you're moving on this road and it's failure, 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 failure. And someone says, Hey, you're doing the right things, wrong opportunity. Doing the right things, wrong time. Doing the right things, right? Whatever it is. You got to go back a little bit, then make a left and then go back in the same direction, but on this different road. Well, that's hard because if you're, let's say, doing something with someone at a certain time in this venture and all of it is right, except maybe the person. Right. So then sometimes you look at it like, well, that wasn't for me. No, it was for you. You were on the right path. You were just doing it with the wrong. Person. Yes. So, so many variables there, right? And that's the problem. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, how to tweak that. Yeah, but here's the, here's the hard part. To go back yeah. means you may have to, it may take you three months to get back, mm -hmm. to get things corrected, to get the credit corrected, to get the, right? Because we made these mistakes. Right. So now it takes months and you got to redo almost everything you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the tough part. And all I'm saying is don't make it your final destination. This is what I had to get in my head, my self-talk. Be because I had bad credit, because all these things were messed up, I'm like, oh my God, if I just made one more mistake. But I just, at some point, you got to start going the other direction. Like if you're in the hole, at some point, you got to stop digging. Right. You got to stop going it down. You got to yeah. change direction. Yeah. And I think that was, that was the hardest part for me. And, and like you said, it's all the variables. So we have to take a look at ourselves. We can't judge people for what they decide to do with the 24 hours that they have. Absolutely. Because it's all in their priority. Mm -hmm. So when people say, well, I don't really have the time, I think it would be helpful to say, I didn't make this a priority. That's a great self-talk. Yeah. So switch it and see how that sounds to you. It does change. Yeah. Right? And look at you. Look yeah. at you. You're talking no. about change. You didn't even like change. The first few episodes, you're like, I don't like change. I hate now your self-talk is like things change. People change. Seasons change. They I do. But I love you, it. Well, you know what I say now? What? Well, we were just talking about the other day that the day before everything changes looks exactly the same. Yeah, that's so good. You never know when that change is coming. Yeah. So you just have to know it's coming and be ready for it and yeah. be there for it. Yeah. Be there for yourself. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If Even if nobody else is there for you. Right? That's so good. So whatever today looks like, tomorrow could look totally different. Yeah. Totally different. You yeah. never know. You can't say, well, you know, it's been leading up to it. Sometimes it does. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't. Right. Sometimes it comes out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Yes. Right. Today was the day. Yeah. Yeah. But but even when you're this is so perfect, because even when you're sowing seed and you're yes. cultivating. Yes. The day before the harvest, the day before you see the results look just like the day before. Right. Well, you so, walk outside uh -huh. Monday and you just see soil. You walk outside Wednesday, you just see soil. You walk outside Friday, just see soil. And all of a sudden on Sunday, you're like, oh, oh my gosh, yesterday there was nothing. Now right. there's something. Right. 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 So it was happening though. It was happening. Right. But it didn't look different to you. Right. And that's that's what's hard. Right. Because it's looking the same. Yeah. And it's sounding the same and it's feeling the same. But something's happening yeah. in the process. Yeah. We talk about failure more than we do success. Yes. We do. Like if you go back, <laughs> we talk about obstacles and barriers because 
That's when self-talk is most, it's easy to have great self-talk when things are great, but when things aren't so great, then what is our self-talk saying? What does it look like? Right. It's like, oh, I can't believe again. I can't, this never works out for me. Or here I am in this place. I never thought I'd be right. It's in those times where you've got to watch your self-talk. This is why we talk about the moments where we didn't hit our goals because there were more times, as I said, that I haven't hit my goals and I hit my goals. Right. Right. So I typically, the goals I set are so lofty. They're still realistic, but they're out there. Like I got to hustle. I got to grind. I got to do some things that are different than what I've done in the past because the goals that I've set aren't things that I've already achieved. Well, yeah. And um, people always say, you still working? You still working? Too hard? <laughs> like, absolutely. Because my Heck goals yeah. have changed. Right. Exactly. My why has changed. Yeah. Everything has changed. Yeah. Because once you get to a certain level, like you said, you're like, oh, well, if I'm here, I could definitely go here. Right. And then when you get there, you're like, oh, well, I'm here. So I know I can go. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and change is good. Like, yes, I've changed because in order for me to tra- attract something different, I got to become someone different. So I hope I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I hope I'm not the same husband, same father, same leader, same business person. I hope I've learned some things. Yeah. But when you're a big dreamer, you have to be a person that just loves to grind. Yeah. You have to love the grind. You do. And when it's in you, you won't stop. Yeah. You yeah. Stop. Yeah. It's just, it's, it becomes a part of who you are. Mm-hmm. My personal development and personal growth is so important. That's true. Because what personal growth has meant to me in my own life, and I think for many others, is their ability to bounce back faster. So when things are said to them that causes them to look in the mirror and perhaps hear some things that they really, really didn't want to face, they would have bounced back faster because of personal growth and personal development. So personal development allows you to see through a different lens right. because right. you've be, because it's been identified to you. No one else had to tell you through personal because it's personal development. You were able to see it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Right. And so then when other people say things, you're like, you know what? I already knew that. I knew it. And I, I, before you even said anything, I knew it. I just haven't been yes. facing it. I just hadn't done anything about it. I just been procrastinating, but they already knew it. And that's why personal development is so important. Right. So and it comes from, again, in education, self-education. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's not necessarily formal education. And, and that's why it's easy for me to talk about this, babe, because I've been there. Right. Right. So I know that the you factor was key. It's like, okay, sure, I'm going to make mistakes. Mistakes, it, it's inevitable that you're going to make mistakes if you're doing something you've not done before. But what was the switch in you then? Because you said you used to be that guy. Yes. So what was the switch in you that now you're not that guy? Yeah, there was, I worked on me. Mm. It wasn't that the course changed. And don't get me wrong, a great course. It wasn't that the teacher changed. And sometimes you can have some horrible teachers, though. But if you got a great teacher, sure, sure. it's not the teacher. Yeah. You got a great curriculum. It's not the curriculum. It's not the education. And even if you have great people around you, it's still you. It's you. You can Do have you the know best there are people cheerleaders. Who have the best pe- your sister says, we got to have your sister on this podcast. Your sister says this all the time. She says, I've had access to some of the best. But until I was ready to, to take advantage of having access to the best, right. it didn't matter. Right. Because you can have the best cheerleaders around you yep. all day, every day, wanting it almost more for you than you want it for yourself. That's exactly right. And it happens all the time to all us. All the time. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Yes. So this you fact, all I'm saying is that, you know, you've got to get to a place where you say, I take responsibility because I'm weak in this area. Um, I think something else, but aside from reading, is self-reflection. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm learning, too, from that book, There to Lead. Even when you're right in a situation, it doesn't mean you handled it the right way. Mm. And so you, again. what do you mean? By even that? when you're right in a situation, yeah. it doesn't mean you handled it the right way. So I could be right about something if we're having a disagreement, mm-hmm. but I can also self-reflect and say, how could I have handled that differently in being right so that we both feel okay so right good. now? So good. That is mm. so good. Right? So, so maybe the way you said it or the, the way you brought it up. Perhaps. The way I received it. Yes. I, it, you, it could have been my day that I was having and right. you didn't even mean it that way. But because there was no communication and no clarification, I didn't have a chance to give you a chance to say, I didn't mean it like that. Right. right. I wasn't clear. And clear is kind in communication. Unclear is unkind. Mm. Because a lot of times we we are in fights with people and they have no idea that mm. we're in a fight because what they said, <laughs> they meant it in a, in a way right, that right. you took it in a different way. And now you're like, I cannot believe they said that to me. And they're thinking, man, I know I said that good and they right, really got right. it this time. Yeah. And then y'all stop talking and however much time goes by, right. whatever happens, you either never have that friend again uh-huh. or you finally say, why haven't I talked to you? Right. You, you just get to the point like what happened? And you're like, well, when I said this, 
that's not what I meant. Right. That's what you've been thinking this whole right, time. Right, You know right. what I mean? And so that can go on for years. For years. If you don't understand. Oh, yeah, you that's know. exactly right. Wait, what? <laughs> what, is, what do you mean? <laughs> thing. And the last thing I'll quickly say is personal development. You, ha- you have to grow yourself. You're, you, if you're not growing, you're dying. I said that earlier. And I am so big on reading something every day, listening to something in the car instead of the music that's on the radio, maybe listening to a podcast like Self Talk, maybe... Um, you know, listening to a, a audio book for yeah. personal development because the things that you put in are what's going to come out yeah. every time. And so it enables you to, if someone does something to respond, not in a like manner because you put good things in, yeah. it enables you to, because in the world, when we wake up, we're already, you know, we wake up here, but then you get cut off in traffic. Somebody pisses you off or, you know, something happens that, that didn't make you feel so good. So you're constantly going down. But if you keep putting good things in all day, you can kind of, get back up where yeah. you need to be right. and you're hundred percent for the world. And when you show up like you should for everybody, you're now unquantifiable footprint in the world is it's just becomes unquantifiable because you're showing up how you should yeah. to let everybody see what they need to be around you. Okay. If you okay. don't like affirmations. Curls, number one, affirmations. <laughs> Otherwise you start your day. This I'm telling you this. You have a choice. You can start your day. Like I hope today things go better. I hope today my business starts to take off. I hope, I hope, or you affirm mm-hmm. with who it is that you see yourself as. Visualization, huge. All over my phone, I have visualization cues. Yes. Remember, I had them all around the house. Yes. Just but even you. on your screensaver, like when you have certain goals, yep. you because I see it all. I gotta it, see it all the time. Your phone on. That's all right because we're on our phones all the time. So yep. what you see, visualization. Mm-hmm. Maybe you need to go visit some dream homes. Go to the dealership. Visualization. Whatever you see most, the mind finds a way. It finds evidence to attract. Okay. Visualization. Exercising helps out. Believe it or not, hmm. you know, do a couple of push-ups. Do some jumping jacks. Exercise helps out with confidence. Does it? Yes. How so? Well, one, it makes you feel better. It, it creates a small win. Okay. And anytime you can have a small win, you're like, all right, I'm going to start anything you can do to create small wins in your life. And exercise can do that. Right. So and plus, it makes you feel better and healthier. And when sure. you feel more healthy, uh, healthier and more vibrant and energized, you're more likely to go after some goals rather than um, drained. And I don't feel like doing that but today. That's interesting. So if you start off saying, um, I don't do push ups, I'm going to be able to do 10 by this date. And, and then you start with one. 10, and then you well, I'm just throwing a number. No, what I'm there. saying your goals to do 10 by that date, like you said, but start today by doing one and work towards the 10. Right. That's what you're saying. And that is a really confident. It's huge. Story. And guess. And so, so after creating these small wins, all these things we're talking about, find someone who you respect and love, who you can share this with, that they can celebrate with you those small wins. This is when you start feeling better. They're like, hey, you did that one today. I did the one. You did your affirmation day. I did it. They're like, yeah. oh, you are on it, man. It's like 15 days in a row for you. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So find someone who you care about, who you love, who loves you, who you respect, and let them know, hi, here's my goal, and have them celebrate you. Look, having someone who celebrates you for these things keeps you going because you want that celebration to continue. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this is all about us getting better. And we pray that each episode allows you to get better, to think about yourself as the best versions of yourself because of the things you're starting to say to yourself. And we pray that whatever you're committing to do, that not only do you commit to do it, but you act on it. You have some endurance. You put the right people around you and you affirm it daily. it has been another self-talk episode. And remember the things we say to ourselves about ourselves eventually determine what and even who you want to end. We attract for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys the next time. You are crazy. And make sure you're committed to Thursdays. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk good to yourself. Talk good to yourself.